I thank you very much. Thank the gentleman for yielding me the time. Uh, Mr. Speaker, how quickly we get what got us into the economic mess in the first place. I was here six short years ago when the recklessness on Wall Street triggered the worst financial crisis since the Great Depression and cost millions of hardworking Americans their jobs and their homes. Since then, the Democrat majorities in the House and Senate at that time enacted reforms known commonly as Dodd-Frank to stop the worst of these abuses with the aim of preventing another economic meltdown. Obviously, since that time, copious American dollars have been spent and legions of lobbyists to crime and to try to undo Dodd-Frank. This is the first of other bills that we will get to do away with regulation. And unfortunately, the authorization passed out of the Rules Committee last night is a backdoor attempt to undo some of the crucial reforms and is a precursor to another financial crisis. Why would the Rules Committee give equal debate time to the Financial Services Committee, which has real jurisdiction over what we're doing here today? Why would they disallow that? Because they didn't want anybody to hear it. If the Agriculture Committee was unanimous, I don't know what that reason was, but many Democrats, and certainly those of us on the Rules Committee and others who are going to be here today, want to be solidly in the no column because if what we fear will happen happens, we want the country to know that somebody tried to stop it. Now, the crucial reforms that we talk about in this bill, this bill is going to handcuff and will obstruct the law enforcement officials who are charged with overseeing the markets and enforcing the regulations on Wall Street. What we found out six years ago, I was a member of the leadership then and chair of the Rules Committee, we got a message on Saturday afternoon, three paragraphs, as Mr. Hastings, who did a wonderful job explaining this, talked about from uh, Secretary Paulson and the head of the Fed, uh, Mr. Bernanke. It's, it was very short and quite succinct. Basically, if we did not provide them, the Treasury and the Fed, with $800 billion, this was Saturday, by Tuesday, that the financial services in the United States would be defunct, that we would be finished. This was pretty frightening because although we knew that fancy things were going on in Wall Street, that, that uh, mortgages were being chopped up and sold in pieces. Uh, I think they unloaded a lot of it onto Germany, Deutsche Bank. We not only affected our economy, we affected other parts of the world. It was a disaster. People who lost the houses that they had spent their lives trying to get, children displaced from their homes and from their schools, people without their jobs, simply because they were playing tricks, passing paper back and forth to each other, and there was not strong enough regulation in this country for the people who did the oversight to even know what was going on. The gentlelady an additional two minutes. A gentlelady from New York is recognized for two minutes. This was one of the most awful things that we had ever gone through, to watch what happened to our neighbors, to other parts of this country where people were literally forced out into the street because of what Wall Street had done, not because of anything they had done. People who had paid their mortgage faithfully every single month suddenly found out that that mortgage was worthless, that their houses, the mortgages were more expensive to them at that time than their houses were on the market. Why in the world, why in the world would we have any attempt here to undo any of that? Because those lobbyists and all that money made their statements pretty clear. We are trying on our side to hold up the other side. We want to speak for those people who lost their jobs. We want to speak for those people who lost their homes. We want to say to the businesses who had no access to capital and went under, we're trying to protect your interest here. So we are, whatever happens, we know we don't have the votes. You've got them. And we do know that this is a majority that hates regulation, whether it's clean air, or it's clean water, whatever it is. Don't get rid of it. And, but when you come back down here to Wall Street and know the effect that it has had, we haven't completely recovered from that recession. We're just on the way of what God knows we've not passed any legislation in the House of Representatives to create jobs and to make it any better, but do everything that we can just to benefit those people who have the money. We know how this movie ends. And if it moves forward, it's when we are sowing the seeds of future disaster in this country. Last night at the Rules Committee, we called for a no vote, and we said specifically what we were doing. 
we want to be on record on our side is trying to protect the American public and their future. So that they have some confidence again in what they're doing. We would love it if banks would stop again still passing paper back to each other and make loans and get people back to work. But we, of course, were not able to do that. It was two to nine, I believe, was the vote. Uh, we'll see what happens when this comes to the floor, as it certainly will. Uh, but we just simply, as I said, want to make sure, because the last time this came up, we didn't have the opportunity to speak. We're a solid no. I thank